Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another build video. So today we are in the Cranberry Bog, just a little bit southeast of the Horn and a little bit southwest of Superior Sunset Farm and a bit north of Appalachian Antiques. There's kind of this uh, clump of logs here that have collected um, that form kind of a bridge over this little river. And um, I've started kind of affectionately calling it the, uh, the Bog Log Clog. <laughs> You need blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. No hablo espanol. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, you can build underneath, which is kind of cool. And um, so I put up a poll a couple weeks ago. And um, this place got second place. And I figured I'd build here eventually anyway. So um, I had a little bit of time this week. And so I decided to build here. Um, so let me take you around the outside first. And I'll kind of show you everything I did. This obviously is the initial entrance over here, but I'll kind of go there in a bit. Up here I do have a turret and a little kind of defensive stand. There are some Scorch Beasts that fly in uh, from down there, but uh, they're very few and far between, but it is nice to kind of have something here to, you know, keep it occupied until I can swap out builds or something like that, you know, so. Back here is so this is the roof of all these kind of porch foundations i'm using i'll kind of go into that in a little bit but i just have kind of a little storage area up here and i have it kind of fenced off so you can't really get into the camp uh or i, I suppose enemies can't unless you go through the main entrance uh, so up here i do have I have a missile turret so there are some enemies back there at that uh monorail pillar as well and last time I was here building, there were a couple Scorch Beasts, and so the Missile Turret will uh, take good care of them. So, yeah. this little area actually, uh, well, I'll go around the side first. See, so, yeah, this is just a bunch of junk and stuff I'm using for storage back here. Around the outside, y'all. It's actually kind of easy to build through, at least in some places to uh, build through the locks. In other places, it's really tough. So I'll kind of, if I remember, I'll kind of point out the areas where it sucks, but got my rat stag station here. I just love this view. It's really so cool. My um, water wheel generator as well. Kind of makes sense here. And another kind of little area over here. Nothing much, just a tree and the well to uh, bring up fresh water. Non irradiated water. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. That's the back. Oh, I did put uh, that uh, coolant sign back there, too, to kind of. There's, there's some open spots back there where people could theoretically get kind of get through because the ground's all funky and. Um, Placing defensive walls and fences and stuff like that was kind of a tough thing over in that area, so the uh, coolant sign seemed to do a good job. Alright, let's walk through the uh, front here. Just have a regular foundation, a little gate. Okay. A little market area. No vendor area, nothing too crazy here. This part I had to kind of keep low to the ground so that my head didn't hit this or these logs here. But the downside to that is that if the foundation is a little bit too low to the ground, everything you try to place on here will um, air out. It'll say like it can't sit on water for some reason. Um, and so I've had to raise all these other porch foundations here. I've had to raise them up just a little bit higher than I initially planned to just because everything was giving me errors. Like I couldn't place anything. <laughs> and so I just, I basically had to go back and rebuild everything um, initially. It was kind of at the beginning, so it wasn't too bad, but um, some stuff would fit. So like I was able to get this stash box down, but anything kind of over here, 
and this side was it just didn't, didn't work really well so so yeah I love this whole area it's kind of cool okay then in here is the bedroom and you press on the little cinematic I'm using that kind of uh, guns sign to mimic a uh, headboard and I was able to kind of fit that in I destroyed the bed and I merged the gun sign down into like one of those little um, Nuka-Cola trinkets and it was able to kind of just sit on the ground which is which is great otherwise it just wouldn't it wouldn't go back there so just kind of merged a bunch of little things in here like that little uh, incense burner thing down into there nothing too crazy in here just a lot of just junk thrown around and you know got that new gramophone going which is kind of cool and those bone chimes you keep hitting <laughs> the uh, weapons workbench fits really well in here. I put a little shelf on top and so I put some stuff up on top there. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I do have a blue light hidden back there. So one of those neon tube lights that we got. I don't know if you can see it back there, kinda. But um, they're really easy to place. There, there's actually, I'll try to remember to point them out as I, as I go through. But um, they're really easy to place and they fit kind of where you wouldn't really expect them to strangely so like what I did was I destroyed the weapons workbench and I was able to place the light on the wall back there the the defensive wall and then just repair the uh, weapons workbench and it it placed perfectly there's no issues so I do have some over here as well so there's one back back there you can see that yellow one it just gives it a nice kind of glow. Oh my god, I'm stuck. There we go. <laughs> um, so it just gives it a, a nice glow back there. And I do have a red one behind this girl here. You can see that right there. Um, but if you can't tell, like, you can't tell. So, you know, it's one of those, it's kind of a cool thing. Um, so if you haven't used them yet, like, definitely do. Um, they're really useful for just kind of bringing in a little bit of ambient light to things. So, and actually there is one back here too, uh, right behind that sign. If you can see it back there. Yeah. So just giving, adding a little bit more glow around. Cool. Um, let's see. What else did I do? A lot of this stuff, uh, was kind of hard to place. So you might see some rugs and stuff kind of, scattered about um you know i use this rug to kind of place this what this workbench as well um, i'm doing the same trick i did in my one of my previous builds i, I merged that um that display stand down into the armor workbench and the um, thing works pretty good yeah. and uh yeah so as you can tell the porch foundations I'm using the destroyed porches um, they work really well here because it just looks like it's keeping all the logs like supported um, and it's kind of a built-in you know room dividers and uh, so what I did here is I just put you know the uh, rustic fence across the chain link fence and um, because I had this uh, special board here it allowed me to put the, you can't really see them, those wooden planks back there. And the wooden planks are kind of nestled onto that basically. And then because I did that, then it allowed me to put the, uh, the Rust Eagles flag as well. So if you're having trouble kind of like figuring out how to place uh, a wall decor, like try putting it on or, you know, try playing around with different ideas. So like I just, I didn't mean to do that. It just 
naturally happened because I placed that special board inside there and it allowed me to kind of do that. Otherwise, I, it would probably just be empty. So, yeah. Uh, cool. There's a summer merge down there. Nothing too crazy. Like I've shown in a lot of my other builds too, um, a really great way to add immersion is to destroy your workbenches and just put stuff underneath them um, so they're not empty underneath. So down here I have one of the new fireworks things and a workbench and a couple of the trinkets and stuff. So over here I merged the scrap box down into this uh, stash box and uh, merged these down into, his, into it as well. Uh, I was trying to remember <laughs> what these are called. These are just uh, from this season. Um, these little model kits for, uh, you know, the, uh, what is that, a tank and an airplane? I forget what they're called off the top of my head, but um, I figured kind of my headcanon for this thing is uh, this person's kind of building a lot of little trinkets and selling them here, you know, out uh, at the vendor area, like repairing things like this uh, typewriter that uh, bottle toy, etc, etc. You get the idea. Cool. So yeah, it looks pretty good. And this kind of, it was good to allow me to kind of shore up this side because I couldn't really fit a fence in there because of this earth kind of sticks out a little bit and um, it was kind of hard to put stuff back there. But uh, like how it turned out, it's pretty cool. So you can probably tell back here too. I put a little green light back there and the green light, it just fits. If you try to place it on top or like, how do I explain this? Try to place it into the red barrel. Um, it'll actually sink in fairly well and it'll place like without having to destroy it or anything. So um, it's for the most part hidden, but it just gives off a really nice glow as well. And I did one in there as well. I'll show you in a second but um, I just think it looks really cool. Got the new <laughs> eagle display, the weapon display. Just have a missile launcher in there with the, uh, I think that's an Adam cat skin. So. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, I got this uh, apothecary thing and I merged it down into this table and I think it works pretty good. The apothecary stand as it is, is fine, but I just think this helped it kind of fit in with the rest of the build, like uh, just making it a little bit more scrappy looking. So, All right, so then this is a little greenhouse area. So I'm using the Coca-Cola, or Coca-Cola, oh my God, <laughs> New Coca-Cola foundations um, that we got a couple seasons ago. And they were pretty well. It's, it's really cool that you can, um, it acts kind of like dirt and you can sink stuff down into them. Um, so let's see, that vault tech tree down into the carnivorous plant there. Um, I merged a lot of these things down. So these are plants that I merged some flowers into and you know, those potted plants. I merged some flowers down in and then like that cactus as well. And then what I did is I merged you can't see, you can see it back there, that bottle and cappy little thing. So I merged the whole thing down onto that bottle and cappy thing, and that allowed me to kind of place it down under under the ground. And I have another one there. You, so you can't really tell that they're there at a quick glance. Um, so it, they're kind of hidden. So that's a neat trick if you ever want to do that. And I'm using those bottle and cappy things just because they're so small, the, the footprint is so tiny that you can basically place them anywhere and uh, it'll let you place it, so. A little sink. A little tomatoes over here. Uh, these rocks, I merged down into a rug and the rug conveniently just kind of sits under the dirt. So it's basically hidden out of view. You can't really see it. You may, you can see this one just a tiny bit, but if you're just kind of like running around, you can't 
It's like you, you can't tell that it's there, which is kind of cool. I did the same trick over here using the uh, bottle and cappy statue as well. You can probably see it down, it's down there somewhere. Back there. Um, just kind of merge a bunch of plants together and just then merge the whole thing down into the bottle and cappy thing and, and uh, placed it. And it looks really cool. I like how it all kind of come together. And yeah, like you can tell that, you see that green light back there. Um, but just at night, it gives it a really freaking cool look. So. Cool. And over here. Go outside. This is my cooking area. Cooking bedroom. So I just merged down this cooking station the grill down into this new table we got from Grom and uh, using it as kind of like a little uh, you know kitchen workstation kind of thing kitchen counter I always need my coffee machine always emptying that thing out I use the coffee like relentlessly now with my uh, chainsaw so yeah and a lot of this stuff is placed, like these junk walls, are just placed as close as I could to the wall here. And um, we've tended it for pretty well. Like, you know, seems pretty well defended, you know. This um, pit flag, surprisingly enough, actually just kind of fit there. I didn't really have to do anything. If you play around with it long enough, it'll tend to go places where you wouldn't expect it to and the bottom of it for some reason doesn't like there's no collision on the bottom part so it'll like clip down into foundations and through the dirt um, and I'm sure a bunch of other things so play around with like if you haven't used it because it's just so long like try using it in a couple builds and seeing if you can get it to place because I usually go, I, <laughs> I do this a lot, I'll just kind of, I know I want to use it somewhere and I'll just kind of go everywhere around my camp and see if I can place it somewhere and usually it'll help let me place somewhere, so. Cool. And so I wanted a different uh, kind of chill area and so I, I put this here with these stairs. I think this turned out really well. So this is kind of like the lounge area, come up to play poker. A nice little fire for you, chill and relax, and uh, hang out with your homies. You know, keep an eye out out there, see what's going on. But uh, enjoy the nice, beautiful sunset. So yeah, this is the build. I just, I absolutely love how this all came together. It's, um, I just think it's, it's gorgeous. You know, but that's just me. You know, these are all my all my bills are all my little babies that I just think are adorable. So, uh, yeah. So let me know what you think. If uh, you got some ideas for this, uh, let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear. Um, if you have any questions about how I did anything, uh, please let me know down in the comments too. Like I'd I'm more than happy to kind of shed some light on how I did some of this stuff. Um, I don't do a lot of kind of crazy tricks and stuff. It's just really playing around with different ideas and trying to force it to do what I want it to do. <laughs> but anyway, uh, like I said, I hope you get some ideas for your next build and um, really appreciate all of you who voted in the poll a couple weeks ago. And I uh, hope you really dig this one because this was a ton of fun to build. And uh, like I said, I really love how it, well, how it came out. So, all right, well, have a great week. I will talk to you later. Have a good one.